President, when will you announce who your VP is? Not for a while. I mean, I have, while. we have so many great people in the Republican Party, but not for a while. Well, what criteria are you using to identify who your running mate is? Always it's got to be one thing. It's got to be who would be a good president. I mean, you always have to think that because, you know, in case of emergency, things happen, right? No matter who you are, things happen. It's got to be number one. Who is your running mate? Well, I have a lot of good people. We have a lot of really good people. So you haven't decided who it is? I have a lot of good ideas, but I haven't. And there's no reason so to do that So you haven't told that person, you're my person? I, I speak to everybody. I speak to everybody. You know, I called Tim Scott this, so because a lot of people like Tim Scott. I called him and I said, you are a much better candidate that, for me than you are for yourself. When I watched Tim, he was fine, he was good, but he was very low-key, et cetera, et cetera. I watched him in the last week defending me and sticking up for me and fighting for me. I said, man, I said, you're a much better person for me than you are for yourself, because for himself, he was low-key. For me, he's been, he's been a real tiger. He's been incredible. And others have, too. Uh, so maybe it's Tim Scott. Well, it could be, it could be a lot of people. But it was interesting. I was watching Tim. I've been watching, you know, for a while. I watched him campaign as a candidate. But I watched him over the last two weeks. Uh, as you know, he endorsed me, fully endorsed me, gave me a beautiful endorsement. And he has been really strong in terms of that. No, but that has nothing to do. I don't want anybody to take even any inference. But it's incredible. Uh, Christy Noem has been incredible fighting for me. She said, I'd never run against him because I can't beat him. That was a very nice thing to say. What was the it's story that your team reached out to RFK Jr.? Did it's you, a false story, no. It's a false you story. never reached you know out what? to RFK Jr.? I like Jr. him a lot. Nope, never, never happened. Is it fair to believe that you would have a number of your former officials in your new cabinet? I will put some back. I'll tell you. I came to Washington having spent almost no time in my life in Washington. I know. You said and that. all of a sudden, I'm president. And I wasn't into Washington society. So I was not a Washington. I was a New York person. I was a New York builder. Well, you and, were and an other, outsider, and that's why I, I was a totally outsider. You. But the one problem with that, and I love the outsider thing, but you don't know people, so you're relying on other people to give you names to be the head of this, head of that. And by the way, we had unbelievable people. We had some, look, I rebuilt yeah, the military. Yeah, but your critics say you had plenty of personnel mistakes. No, of course, but everybody does. Obama had. What about Biden? Look at the people running this Biden thing. The difference is I fire people. I fired Comey. I got rid of him. You didn't fire Christopher Ray. Well, I, I, you know what? At the time, I don't know. Let's see how, let's see what, what the final judgment is. But I didn't fire Christopher Ray. I didn't fire people I would have, but I fired a lot of people. You know, I had turnover. They have no turnover right now. How do you know if you get back in, you don't have a network of people around you working against you? I will, and so will anybody else that gets in as a Republican. These people are sick. These are sick people. But do you feel better this time around because you know what to expect? Well, I also know people that I didn't know before. I know now the smart ones, I know the dumb ones, I know the weak ones and the strong ones. I have, I know, I know tremendous amounts of people that I know will do a great job. But I was different. When I didn't like a job that somebody was done, I fired them, just like The Apprentice. I said, you're fired. You have to go. What about some of your former officials? Do you see them being in this next cabinet? Mike Pompeo, for example. Uh, I don't know. John Radcliffe? Uh, he's, he's fantastic. I mean, he's a great guy. John Radcliffe has done a great job. Dr. Yeah. Ben Carson? He's a, done a fantastic job. So you're expecting them to be in your cabinet? Some of, some of them, yeah. I mean, if somebody did a good job, I would do that, yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.